What up everyone, I'm Rich Mays Lopez. And I'm Brendan Dunn from Soul Collector. I'm Matt Welty, editor of Complex Sneakers. And this is Full Size Run with a very, very special guest in the building with us today. Multi-talented comedian, rapper, that's you. That's me. That's you. Oh. Co-star of Wild and Out. Mr. Conceited is in the building. Thank you for joining us today. My long man. overdue. He's been, yes, we've been going back and forth on the Thank DMs. You Thank, you Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Obviously, we all know who you are. Unless people out there who are watching living under a rock and don't have the internet, right. they know who you are. Or television. Or television. <laughs> but for those select group of people, let us know a little bit about Conceited, please. Battle rapping is what I really, really, really do. So Nick, Nick Cannon just saw that and he was like, yo, I'm a fan, son. I want you on, on, on Wild and Out, I'm bringing it back. I'm like, man, this is not Nick Cannon, man. Whatever, <laughs> man. Yeah, all right. Was he in your DMs? No, uh, he hit me on Twitter and then I had a, I'm not an IG model or nothing, but I had a booking <laughs> email. Oh, you getting booking <laughs> dates? In, in, in my bio. <laughs> um, I have one too. All right, uh, anybody, so perfect. Anybody want to know the rates? Go. And then my um, manager was like, yo, Nick Cannon wants you on Wild and Out. I'm like, Word here, like he follows you on, on on Twitter and all that. First audition killed it. It, mm -hmm. was, it, it, was, it was good. The second one, it was horrible. I did horrible, but I could tell Nick Cannon just must have wanted me on the show because everything I did, he just was hysterically cracking up at. And I was like, all right, yeah, I'm good. Cause, <laughs> I mean, because all this shit I was just doing was whack, but he liked it. But he liked it. Yeah. But what did I say about his taste level though? I mean, <laughs> his, his taste You're trying level to call out his boss right now. Is, it just seemed, you know what? He must have just had a smarter vision. Okay, you know, okay, okay. Like, you know what? I see this I kid. This he's, yeah, he's going to get it popping on the show. I got him. We know by going through your IG that you've been into sneakers, obviously, for, I have to assume, for a very long time. Yeah. Came through every, with something a little crazy on his yeah, feet. Yeah, absolutely. You know, just some unicorns right now. Right? Every yeah. picture on your IG, you have crazy pair of sneakers and a fit. So when did you first get into sneakers? My older sister, she had damn near everything that just what got me like oh you know what now i need these crazy Gotta level up. yeah mm -hmm. i need these classics that my sister always gets so ever since i was this this big i was just always always in the kicks forever killing it mm -hmm. always talk about nowadays how many sneakers do you have in your collection i have no idea it's like that I hundreds no, yeah thousands no, not, not, do we hit no, a thousand no, yet no no, no 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 did not did not hit a thousand okay we know that, that for sure where are you storing these joints um, I have a I have a storage and then I keep the, my main. Where's one the storage? Crib. It's, just, <laughs> <laughs> it's in my it's in Miami, but well, we're gonna stop. Right. Right. About a nine, uh, about a nine yeah. or? We know a lot of people a lot of people know you for the sneakers, but also the meme kind of took you to okay. a new level of viral Definitely. fame too. Tell us about that. Tell us about that, Jif. First of all, is it Jif or GIF? I say Jif. I say Jif. Okay. So I mean. Okay, I got you. I, I say yeah. GIF, but I guess I'm outnumbered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I say uh, GIF. You see? It's two up. He says show, GIF. Show us the face from it. Can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Got it on cue. <laughs> it, but it's funny, that, that happened in 2009. Can you set it up for us? So, all right, there was a battle I did on URL. I don't know if you guys are familiar. That's the same. Okay. Yeah. So there was a dude out there named Jesse James. He was like, yo, I want to battle, con I want to battle conceded, blah, blah, blah. Ended up killing him. <laughs> Like badly, like mm -hmm. it was a one a one round. You, nobody ever heard from him ever again, <laughs> and I'm not even playing. So you watching? Ended his career off one ended round. Ended his career off one round. It, it got to the point the battle world was calling it getting Jesse James. But what happened is as he was battling, he stumbled. So, he, so he's rapping. He's like, yeah, something, something, something. And I was like, oh. Mm. <laughs> it's a rap. What's your process for like thinking of how you're going to roast someone? Is it just spontaneous in your head or do you like break it down beforehand or like? All right, so if it's like a battle rap, they give us time. At that point, you find out as much dirt as you possibly can. You're on their Instagram, their mm -hmm. Facebook, watching previous battles, everything. What we have done though, mm -hmm. is we took a deep dive on your Instagram and we checked out all your fits. So let's say we were preparing. Yeah, we did a little we were research. Preparing, and we picked three fits that we just want to we just want to discuss here with you first. Okay. Is that cool? Let's do it. The, the first one I want to talk about, this is you and you have on the History of Flight Air Jordan 13 and very tastefully bringing in bringing in the red. I mean, were you thinking just all white with this or you knew from the jump we got to get the red in there? I saw this shirt at the St. Laurent store. <laughs> Flex. Before I had the shoes. Oh, so you built this you built this fit around the shirt. I got the shirt before I, before I even got the shoes and held it. Is what about the hat? Yeah, is this a throwback hat? What are you rocking here? It's um it's a it's a collaboration with me and Mr. Throwback. Shout out to Mr. Ah. Throwback. And you left the house looking like this. Yes. 
<laughs> and you won't you won't wear a pair of sneakers until you have the outfit, right? Is that is that correct? Or? No, because there's sometimes I'll do it like like, like if I'm thirst and I get super thirsty on cakes. Like I just got the DB fives recently, and I wore them to the gas station. Or just, are, are we or doing it? like color? Like, do you have the Pantone colors where you're like, I know the exact it's color of the shoe and I have to have the exact shade? Uh, How scientific <laughs> are we talking, conceited? <laughs> See, that would be all right. Somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> You bring it in Photoshop and you use the eyedropper tool and you get the exact... See the, see, the thing is, colors, when they don't match, to me, it stands out more. So that's why I try to match it as much as possible. You know what I mean? Like... We see that. Yeah. yeah. Which, which, will take us to our, which will take us to our second picture, because this is something I really want to talk about. Oh, yeah. So this joint right here, obviously you have the Just Don 2s in, mm -hmm. in the Arctic Pink colorway. I want... You just mentioned matching. I want to talk about this. How did you manage to get a full pink fit off but also this is not your regular shade of pink right here this right. is this is different mm -hmm. so how, how the hell did you do this my best outfits came by accident did, you're, you're lying to me i think watch come on watch this embellish sent me this way before i knew about these shoes this was really for i think was it those kith air forces the brown and tan the ones that came the out linens, yeah, yeah, yeah linen that would have been a lot more subtle though right that, that's, just, i don't i don't know if so but, it's really his thing. Okay. It, it, right, it's not. But then I was like, you know what? I don't really wear uptowns like that any, any, anymore. I don't want those. So when I spoke to Don and he sent me those, that's me just trying to... You flex it, bro. I got you. That's me yeah. trying. Okay, cool. So when he sent me those, I'm like, I really have nothing to go with this, but I will find something eventually. This outfit was still in the box, but hanging out the box in the plastic. That's right. Can you do uh, these fits only once, or will you repeat fits? This is a bit much to repeat, this, though, right? This, yeah, see, I can't really repeat this because it's so, obviously, out there. And it's on my, my, on my Instagram. But if the outfit is super lit, I'm going to wear it again. Like this, I only went to the airport. I really you could bring this wear back. this again. Yeah, I yeah. would, but then I can't take pictures of it again. Though. Speaking of uh, super lit outfits, let's, yeah. let's take a look at the last one let's we go. have pulled here. Go on to the third one. This is the one that really, really caught my eye, literally. You had the acronym Press Throws. Mm -hmm. You had the matching windbreaker. I think the funny thing about this is that there was an interview with Arrowson uh, from Acronym. Mm -hmm. He said that when this shoe came out, that like when they make them in the factory, they just put random colors on the shoe just to have the fabric right. Mm -hmm. And this was the random color combination. And he said, fuck it. And that colorway was never even planned. He didn't even think of that color combination. Like, oh, he, but you did. That, that, but that was an accident. Conceded <laughs> <laughs> cracked the code. He's like, I'll take the challenge. <laughs> this was planned, but. Oh, this one was planned. planned this, you said Starburst, Skittles, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, 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 because I was trying to get everything out of the way before the comments start frying me. I got this. And intentions on getting these shoes. Also the same. I got this before. Now this is a Nike one. I forgot who the collab. Kim with. Jones. I Kim Jones. Oh, yeah, that's it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you had the kicks in mind when you copped this. <laughs> yes. Okay. So okay. Held held this for so long and couldn't find them. Couldn't find them. Couldn't find them. And then I finally went to Flight Club. And then, then, then he had him. You like, spent the bag on him. In my past, I used to, I used to work at uh, Foot Locker for like seven years. I remember like people coming in, um, you know, whether they had bought the sneakers somewhere else, we had like the gear, they'd have the sneaker in the bag and they'd be walking around the store, <laughs> you know, hold, holding it up to like I've sweatshirts, being like thinking about it, you know? I've never done that, but I actually would. I actually would. So check it, now that we've taken a look at your scientific process of how you break down your fits, mm -hmm. which has been enlightening. Yeah. Absolutely enlightening. We're gonna take you through three people's fits. I want you okay. to talk about which you like, which you don't like, and which one you would just kill on sight. All right. All right. Okay, so first up we have Lil Yachty, a young man who's uh, been known to have some flamboyant fits. Yes. Oh, baby. Which of these three is the most offensive to you? The first one. The, the first, first one. one. For sure. You wouldn't do that? Never. Walk us through this one, why? Never, I mean, the patchwork, that, that looks like an old quilt. I'm never. <laughs> what if you had some, some multicolor fly nets on? Do you think that would work? Nah. You, not. you, you couldn't have put a fit together with this. I probably could have. Okay. You I mean, those but, rainbow wovens that are but, 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 but I don't like those. They're just not fine to me. He's rocking a, a, a babe, a baby Milo uh, jacket here. Yeah, see, the jacket is cool. The jeans, the pants fucked it up for you. Horrible to me. Young, young dude doing doing this thing, so I shout I, out I to him. him for sure. Let's bring in the second round of picks. Now this is a person that you are very close to, Mr. Nick, Nick Cannon. <laughs> are you allowed to diss him? I mean, it's my job to diss him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we the good one. Which one of these outfits is the most offensive that you're gonna have to kill on site? This is a tough one. Uh, this, this is, is a tough, tough one. To so man, look at what he's doing here. I don't see how this tough to y'all. I'm going with number three right here. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, you don't respect the. 
Oh my golf lord. Golf shorts. But he yeah. is kind of doing the matching thing that you yeah. like, right? He's kind of got see, the, the yellow and the yellow with the see, white and the see, black. Y'all yeah, think I match way too much, right? <laughs> If y'all think I would do this. You don't respect the Argyle shorts? No. Is Nike ID cheating to you if you have to ID a pair of sneakers to like match something? Yes. Yeah. You would never do that? Yeah, I've done it once, but with an all red Air, Air Force. But I that's mean, cheating too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is like, I mean. What else? How about how about the do rag tucked under the too big? I didn't even see that. <laughs> Giving my man credit, it was 2005. Okay. Yeah, if you so, brought a pick for me of 2005 up you here. You were rocking a do rag with the <laughs> absolutely my hat's not. Too big? Absolutely oh, okay. not, but I wouldn't. <laughs> so, what were you doing in 05? 05. I was wearing size 9, which is like 3X or 2X low cost shirts. Vizu jeans mm. and Pradas. Wow. That is a very, very... You weren't doing Pac-Man Air Force Ones back then, no? Mm. You were doing World Cups, mm. part of World Cups? No, no, actually, um, the only Air Forces I really wanted, it's really two Air Forces that I really want. I got one, which is the Busy P's, the black ones. Mm -hmm. The, the Ed Banger, plot. yep. Yep. Yeah. And the uh, Olympic ones. You remember the ones yeah. with the silver front? Yep. Red, the yep. Those, those are old school too. Yeah, yeah. There were so many fakes of those going around yeah. back in the day. So this fit is offensive yeah. to you though. Yes. Okay. You ever they, get you, you ever get never, caught on fakes? Never. Ever, <laughs> never. Like, ever, Say it in the camera. Don't be disrespectful. Never <laughs> ever got caught on fakes. Never, 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 ever, ever, ever. Ever. Right. So we're gonna go on to the third, the third person, uh, someone who's a bit of a deal in the Icon. in the sneaker game. Yeah. Full sand outfit too, like it's if all you one shade. To be honest. Yeah. Which of these fits is no? All three of these is all right. Okay. It's I hard. Mean, it's tough know, with this, Kanye West to find this, it. Is, you know, it is. You know what I mean? The timing with this, obviously not right now, this is not popping, but I'm saying back then, that's cool. Where does Ye rank amongst your stylish rappers? At one point, he was, I don't really like the stuff he does now, you yeah. know, with the whole Yeezy stuff too, too much. To me, it was like Fab, him. Fab and, well, you blew my mind for a second. Right. <laughs> Cause I, I, mean, I love Fab, but mm -hmm. you Fab and Ye on the same level in yeah. terms of style. Fab dresses more the way I dress, so I mean, mm -hmm. I, I okay. like that more. Mm -hmm. Him, he, at one point he was pulling off anything and it was looking oh, for fly. sure. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, like all of that. Like yeah. he was just looking. Speaking of fakes, though, you remember when Fab got caught with the fake oh, babes on? It's, it's the shoes by Barbito. <laughs> that hurt your heart a little bit looking up oh, to your icon like oh, that. Oh, much. But granted. <laughs> Granted, um, <laughs> you know, back then, I mean, variance was cool, you know, it was probably- Nah, cool. variance was never cool. Now you're like, stretching I mean, the truth I mean, I never had a pair. Did you have some see-through <laughs> Jordans? No, I never Dub had a pair of- Spongebob's? I ne the hell he no. <laughs> <laughs> never, ever had a pair of variance or nothing, but the crazy but. part is, no, no, I actually, when I was in high school, right. I did want a pair. What? I was, I was like, damn. Which, bro, what did you want? That's, which that's one? That's crazy. It was, which they actually have a sample of right, of right, right now. Shout out to Oregon Soul, he has it. Um, it was gray and red 17s. Mm. My man can see it. First of all, I want to thank you for joining us today. No doubt. What should we expect from the next season of Bob Now? More matching. <laughs> more, more fits. More fits, more kicks, more battles, and me killing everybody on the opposing team. Thanks again, my man. My man. Joining us today. Thank you for having me. We look forward to more, seeing more of your fits yes, on sir. IG. All right, boss. My man. I'm Rich Mays Lopez. I'm Brendan Dunn, news editor at Soul Collector. I'm Matt Wealthy, editor at Complex Sneakers. Till next time, y'all. Peace. Peace.